Hi, welcome to today's video. We're going to do a bit of sketching today in watercolour. I always like this landscapes. It's like my favourite area. A low pool over there. I've got a couple of sketchbooks with me, so I'm going to try doing two little watercolours today. I've got my Cardi, which I used last week, uh, and at Sketch Club. That's one I did at Sketch Club this week in uh, watercolour. And that's the one we did last week for last week's video. Uh, so we're going to use this one looking towards the pool, I think. And this is a Pink Pig sketchbook, which I quite like as well. That was um, in a glass cabinet at my exhibition for over six months. And I put it in a box and forgot I had it. So these are the sort of sketches I do in here. I quite like to do these uh, loose watercolours in here. The paper's very smooth and quite thin, so you can't really overwork it. That's one of low pool which I did look a year ago you see and this is one I did in at sketch club the other day with some uh, black watercolour and a pencil so we're going to do the view over there in the pink pig let's see what I make of it okay Basil's here enjoying himself as well pottering around and lazing in the sun don't blame him I'm just going to start with this pink pig sketchbook. I'm just going to put in a little, a very pale wash to cover the white area, that, which is going to be the sky. You can hardly see that, but it's there. I've just used that uh, colour, which we're not quite sure what it was. There you go. see it a little bit stronger there. I'll let that bleed down there in its own time. Now, now I'm going to switch over to the other book while that's drying. Take this because the sky's a bit bluer over there. I'm going to take a mixture of these two. And uh, so it's ultramarine and that fallow. And I'm just going to lay that in this way. So this is interesting because I'm working sort of uh, the book is leaning away from me rather than sort of down towards me, it's sort of leaning away. So the gravity is going to take that water in the opposite direction to what I normally want it to go. So that's going to be quite interesting. So anything I put on underneath here might bleed into the sky. But it'd be quite a nice experiment actually. So that's a bit blue as you see over that side. And what I really like is that light yellow field which they've just cut up there. That's what I really like. We'll let that one dry. That can dry over there. If I prop that up like that. Something like that. That will drag down there. The gravity will bring it down. It'll be interesting to see the difference you see with the texture of the paper. A, so you've got rough which picks up the, the grain there. It will pick up the sort of pigment in the watercolour. And this smooth won't do that at all. So it'll be quite interesting. So I'm going back onto this pink pig now. So here I've just uh, laid in a quick area to represent that area of trees and the hedge going across there and that, that gap over there, which I quite like. So that's, I've just laid that in with the socket's lemon yellow and this color here, I'm not quite sure what it is. No, it's a black, type of black. Yes, Basil. So I've laid that in with the lemon yellow and the black mixed up this dull sort of green here. Laid that in and where I wanted it to be a bit brighter, I just put neat lemon yellow from there over the top with a flat brush and just let it bleed with the water. And I'll let that dry. It's drying really nicely today. So it should be really good fun. Now it's back over to the Cardi. The Cardi because it's a lot drier the paper I'm going to lay these greens in exactly the same so we use lemon yellow and the black I'm just going to look at the scene there and there's Basil just sunning himself now he keeps going in and out of the shade so we're going to do just lay in some gre greens now to give us an overall picture I've just got to leave a little space for low pool which I want to I think I'm going to carry over there so if I say that's low pool in there 
That means I can go up into the sky a bit more there. So this, see how the pa this paper is a lot drier. Start to bleed a bit there because I'm too impatient again. Can't be bothered to wait to, for it to dry. And that's still quite dark then. Coming across to about here. So we've got cadmium yellow, ultramarine blue. I don't mind mucking up the colours really. Bring that down like that. And we know that's all that's all the shadow area. Like that. And we just bring a bit of that lemon yellow. There's a nice area here, that lovely tree, just there look. That one. Okay, that glows, that lovely colour. That will go back there, but we'll we won't mess about too much with that yet because we need the paint to dry around it. And that's as far as I go with that one. I'm going to back over onto the pink pig. Just to show you this shot actually to show how I'm alternating between that view, that way with the, with the pink pig. So I sit here and then I switch. There's the cardi there and then I've got that view over there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sort of sat in between the two books, so I don't have to keep moving my uh, watercolor set and the water everywhere. So that's that's what I'm doing there. I've just put in some cooler more shadow areas now well this is all dried and well, I'm waiting for this section to dry here you can see it's actually very wet still down there so that's drying and I've just made sure I've not gone too close to bleed so it doesn't bleed in and just put some shadow areas in and I quite like the way this you can do that on this paper with a flat brush it works very well it absorbs quite nicely into the paper and just sits there quite a nice different technique but I quite like it so just leave that to dry now and then back over to the cardi I think I'm going to lay in this a bit darker here so I can see the darkness in here and then I can just I know how dark to go with the other areas of the painting then Let's just run that across there. there's a little bit of a shadow running through there. Let's try and find a few shadow areas in here now. I don't want to get too close to, to that because of the wet paint and I've got wet paint here still in here. Uh, so let's just, just, let's just drag this across here. I quite like that light area. I might just leave that because there's a bit of blossom there, look, by that tree. So I think I'll leave that area here which has just by chance has just sort of uh, appeared and I'll just build this up slowly now and I've just been building up some of these uh, shapes of these fields and tree patterns and approximate colours not, not very accurate to be honest but it doesn't matter I'm having fun so I've been building these up and you see how it's quite wet. Some areas are dry and slower than others on this one. This book, this paper seems to dry slower. But then maybe I just load it with more water, I'm not quite sure really, but we'll just let that run down a little bit there. So it spreads a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'll leave that to dry off a little bit and then we'll start adding some more uh, field shapes and patterns and some of the hedgerows in. Right, I'm going to put some... Uh, it's funny, I've got a Michael Harding watercolour in my bag, like a blue there. 
and it's so, so opaque it's like a gouache not like watercolor at all uh, right I'm gonna put some harder sort of more harsher darks in this foreground here now because it's not dark enough something like that's better let's really get something quite strong in there so I'm mixing up ultramarine blue uh, cadmium red and like an earthy green looks quite I suppose it's like a sap green I've got there not quite sure what it is but it does the job and I just want to brush that into these areas here let's make that even redder in here so that'll just that'll be a nice sort of dark foreground area then and we'll just dry brush dry brush a few areas up there and then put some water on oh, that might, that's a few splats why not let's have a bit of fun with that let's just leave that to dry a minute and then we'll continue with the uh, these other areas which I quite liked it's better. Lie down there. Let's continue with this one. I quite like the simplicity of it actually, so I'm not going to do too much more on this one. What I will do, I just like to get some of these uh, brighter yellow greens in these trees and as well in here. So I'm going to use that very bright lemon yellow type colour in here and the same again I'll just brush it on and that gravity and the water disperse it so I brush it on very lightly same as what I would do with oils just when it's wetting to wet just very light brush over so you're not picking up too much of the wet paint underneath now let's get this uh, there's a nice light area as well there which is a bit different Let's just brush that on. Plenty of water in there. And the same up here now. I'm just going to brush on a little bit more of that sort of very fresh leaf colour. You know where they've just come out? They're quite fresh looking. Look at the tops there. I'll drag one down there. Well, that was good fun, I think. I've finished this one now. I think I can't really go any further than this. I've just put a few uh, fields in with a small, very small brush. That little uh, little brush here. And then uh, I've got a watercolour pencil, which I've just scratched through a few lines here, like that, to indicate some of these uh, little brambles and things that come through. But I don't want to put too many of those in. And the main thing is that what I really liked was that field here and that bright tree here. And although the colours I've got aren't accurate because the, you know, I'm using this what I've got here in this half pan Windsor and Newton set, which I've had for many years. I bought that back in 1992 when I went to college. And I've still got it now. But I've added more watercolours in. Anyway, I digress. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I think it's finished. Colours aren't accurate. But I don't care, because I like it. It was good fun. I'm just going to put the date. It's just the 20th today. And I think weather like this is made for watercolour isn't it superb day uh spring lovely spring morning so we are about 9 30 and it's overlooking low pool which if you've seen my videos uh, before you would be pretty familiar with by now even if you don't live here anyway that's that one i'm just gonna have a quick look at the pink pig and see if that needs any more work Okay, so here's the pink pig. This is what we've got to so far. Let's move that up there so you don't have the blades of grass shadows in the way. So that's very, a lot more abstract at this point. And I quite like it actually. So all I've got to do now, I think, is just put some uh, shadow in those areas there, look. 
just under this tree. So I'm going to do that now. There's that little gap, that's there, that's that bit there. So this shadow area sort of sits around here. So I'm just going to put that in there. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to put shadow in here as well. It depends on where I sit, whether I'm sort of low down, you see, like that, or higher up is whether I can see this shadow here coming across from the trees, but I'm going to put it in because I quite like it. And what I'm going to do then, I'm just going to brush that. I've got to be careful now, you see, it doesn't get too over complicated and muddy. Because I quite like it, as I can just see a hint in this tree now of this like, like a lizardy crimson, which is there. I'm just going to put a little hint of that over there because I can see it now I've spent more time looking at the other scene but I think I'm going to leave that there is a little uh, gate which is sort of down here which you can't really see very well but I'll just what I'll do I'll just indicate it the post just there and I think I'll call that a day on that one I quite like it as it is very simple. So there we go, 20th. And that's still quite wet down there. So that's Nanslow. So we're from the same spot. So it's the same time, sort of around 9.30. I've painted both, done both at the same time. So let's put them together and we'll have a look, see what we've got. So I'll put that like that. And I'll put the palette there for you to have a look at. And then you can uh, let me know what you think in the comments. So we've got the rough paper Cardi watercolour. And this very smooth paper Pink Pig watercolour there. Done from the same spot, just looking in opposite directions. And they're great fun. Well, that's today's uh, couple of sketches we've just done there, and uh, good fun it was too. I'm going to take Basil home now, I expect he wants to have a nice uh, lie down in the garden, and uh, time for a coffee for myself. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, bye for now, see you next time. If I can get up again. <laughs>